big sister, middle big sister, little big sister, big big brother, middle big brother, little big brother, Dougie, Henri, Rodney, Mikey, and little Sandra. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Ah, oh, good morning. I'm sleepy. Millie, you stayed up all night writing home to your family again, didn't you? <laughs> That's what happens when you write to each of them separately, down to the last little niece and nephew. Ta-da! At least it pays off. I'm getting rave reviews. They call my letters the Millie Monthly. Quality aside, you could have written several books by now. What's so weird about that? Don't you write home? Ugh. Yeah, well, I used to write at first, but it's been a long time. But I think for most people, that's normal. Besides, what would they say if I told them I was hanging out with Vash the Stampede? So you just don't want to write, Meryl? It's not that I don't want to write to them. I guess it sounds pretty lame to say that I just don't have the time. <laughs> accidentally pulled the trigger. How dare you? You have a lot of nerve, you impudent scoundrel. We're not dumb enough to be scared by you and your rotten friends. Oh, yes, it's become clear to me now. There's a lot of meaning behind those words, friends. So stand up with your heads held high and say what you want to say. We won't give up our land no matter what you do to us. Yeah, we're not going to take this anymore. And you can go back and tell that to Morgan. Did you hear what I said, you old geezers? Hey, come on now. My gun went off by mistake. You know that. You mistake my ass, you fat-lipped golem. What? What did you say? A golem? Ha! I'm laughing so hard, my pistol's twitching. Stop! guarantee he'll leave you with a lot more than injuries and property damage. Good God! You're the ones who are dangerous, clotheslining him from behind like that! Huh? Meryl, that's a small sacrifice for a great cause. I know, that's right! Way to go, Millie! That's all you've got to say? Did you say bodyguards? Exactly! If you two were here to protect us, we'd feel a whole lot safer. I'm sorry. Thanks anyway, but company regulations strictly forbid us from taking any part-time jobs. I understand. How about you, son? Are you interested? Why the hell are you asking him? The way that he moved when he protected us back there, he was exceptionally brave. You don't say. Well, it's nothing. I do the best I can. <laughs> Absolutely no way! Uh... How could you ask him? Don't you know who this broomhead is, mister? What is it, little lady? You want the job? Uh, no. Uh, well, uh, that's great. Only uh, you would think of using your position uh, to help out people who are truly in need. Uh, well, we have no choice. I think the situation represents the category of risk prevention to the T. Why have you decided to come with us, Mr. Vash? <laughs> well, I don't know. I guess something was bothering me, that's all. Keep out of this one. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. You see that? That's our land there. <gasps> this is incredible. How is all of this here if there's no access to a ship? Amazing, it's just like a geo plant. No, it's not just like it. This is a geo plant. Yes, we believe that a geo plant ran along a mineral vein to form this offshoot. The land value has skyrocketed so high it's worth as much as a ship 300 yards wide. That may be, but it couldn't have gotten this far without a lot of help. It would have taken a massive amount of effort. I remember it clearly. 20 years ago it was a tiny bud, but I couldn't believe my eyes. Just imagining how we could raise such lush, beautiful land on an arid planet like this, you have no idea how that kept us going. That's right. Our lives, our dreams, and our hopes are all here. It is amazing what you've done here, but what does this have to do with you hiring bodyguards? You saw what happened back there in town. 
that was not the first time. The landowner Morgan has been threatening us time and again to hand over the deed or else. But that is all going to end tomorrow. Once we get this deed over to City Hall, there's nothing he can do. Hey guys, it's time to change shifts. Oh, it's freezing out there. It gets cold at night. I appreciate all of your help. Hey, it's no problem. Since we were little kids, this place has always been our playground, huh? Yeah, and we're never gonna give it up. Besides, we got these two gorgeous girls tonight to keep us company. <laughs> yeah, I almost wish that morning didn't have to come. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, what happened to that broom boy? I thought that for now we should handle this without him. I told him to go back to town in the meantime. What, there's a little fight with a boyfriend? <laughs> oh. He's not my boyfriend. <laughs> Stop it, I don't even like him. Let's go, Millie. We have to go do the rounds now. Coming! Huh? <sighs> it sure is cold. Hey, Meryl, is there something wrong? It's nothing, really. It's just that I know I've seen the face in that picture somewhere before. The only thing is, I can't seem to place it. Oh, you mean like a passing fancy? A passing likeness. I'm absolutely sure I've seen that face before. <laughs> Who goes there? there? Oh, oh, wait! Don't shoot! <gasps> oh no, it's that man! Well, what a pleasant surprise, the two of you once again. You can put your guns away, ladies. Obviously I've come here unarmed. What the hell are you doing here? I came to try and talk Dad out of this. Morgan means business this time. Talk Dad out? Oh? <laughs> ah! The picture! <laughs> yep, that's me, all right, the unworthy son. Now where is he? <laughs> what reason could you possibly have to point a gun at your parents? Oh. It's none of your business, but if you must know, it's their own fault for not listening to reason. I had to do it or they never get the hint. You fucking oh, hey, What are you doing? Hey. Cut it out! Stop hey. that! Millie! Oh. Oh. You rotten, ingrate, evil, and stupid, good-for-nothing, awful son! What? What's your problem? What's all the commotion? Huh? Who's fighting out there? Oh, Patrick. You mind telling me what in the hell you think you're doing? Look at you guys standing there. You haven't taken care of a damn thing. Ah, uh, well, uh, Badwick wanted we, just one more chance yeah, to persuade uh, his parents, and so we didn't really uh, see any harm uh, in that, so we just... Uh, he did, did he? I hired him for his diligence, but what's the point if he can't even kill his own parents? Evidently, I made an error in judgment having any faith in him. the value of family. I didn't like that car anyhow. Uh, great! Now that that's settled, we'll show you the strength of our steel-plated family bond! Oh. So you decided you're not gonna listen to me, no matter what? We will not give him the deed. Your little band of vigilantes isn't gonna be able to help you if you do this. You'll all be slaughtered. I think of Morgan as a child who wants a priceless treasure he knows nothing about. If not cared for properly, this land would quickly dry up and die. Badwick, my son. This land lives and breathes. You think land is more important than your own life? I don't understand how you can so willingly continue to keep sacrificing everything for this land. Damn you! Max was right. He chose to die instead of being raised by worthless parents. Huh? Oh. 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 Huh? Oh.
God. I sure hope that they're worth all the money we're paying them. All right, Mom, come on. Now let's give Team Pay a whirl. What do you say? Ah. Ready, take it. shoot him. At least not yet anyway, because the land would never be his without the deed. I can't believe that crazy old man. Why is he doing that? Oh. Are you really that much of an idiot? Hmm? He's doing it to save the land, me, and you. I can't believe you don't see that. Huh? I don't know how you felt about your father all these years, but I'm sure he loves you and is willing to risk his life for you. I'm afraid it's a little late for this lovey-dovey crap. Unless we give in, Ma, we're all gonna die here. This land just eats money. I'm not sure why it's so important to you, but it's a burden I'm willing to take on. Here is a new claim. A way out of this mess that is actually worth something. I'll fill in the amount right now. All you have to do is tell me how many zeros you want. I think my answer's pretty clear. I'll beat it. So you want an early death, do you? Very well. I'll accommodate you. What should I do? Go ahead and kill me, but the moment you do, you lose everything. Can't you see all the witnesses standing here? <laughs> Did you say witnesses? You've got to be kidding. I won't leave a soul standing. My job won't be finished here until the last man is dead, I assure you. <gasps> You can't! Uh -huh. No, Millie! Excuse me, but didn't your father ever teach you that it's wrong to take things that belong to someone else? Be careful, little lady! <laughs> Are you the tough little helper? Yes, I am. Now you be quiet! Millie! You're wasting your time, little lady. Doesn't matter. You're all destined to become corpses anyway. <laughs> Charming as this is, I'm getting tired. Let's get this over with. I don't think so, Mr. Morgan. <gasps> now that I've heard your gruesome plan, I'm afraid I can't let you off that easily. Make even the slightest twitch and I'll be all over you and your sick little band of thugs. Oh, Meryl, I'm so glad you're here. I would suggest that next time you think a little bit more before you act, Millie, you might live a lot longer. Right. <sighs> Bagwick. any of you. Why did it have to come to this? If you had only taken the money and sold the land, we wouldn't have a problem. No one would have to die and we'd all be safe from harm. I said freeze! You know, Millie, when you got angry before, you were right in confronting them. 
We should be outraged when someone threatens their own parents and do whatever we can to stop them. It's extremely important. <laughs> what the hell is that? Are you serious? Do you honestly believe that you could turn the tide with those tiny terrangers? Uh, yeah, want to find out what I can do with them? That is if you have the guts and want to risk taking a chance on the odds. I'm sure it will, and no matter what happens, we have to understand it's what he wants. We'll just have to trust him. I don't know how to find the words to thank you both for what you've done. <laughs> Especially you, Miss Merrill. I want to share something with you from an old man who raised an idiot son. Everyone makes their own choices. Nothing could compare to the love between a parent and a child. Your love for them doesn't have to be a burden. Instead of worrying about it, do something more simple, yet very important. Walk your own path with your head held high. Your life is their life. The fact that you are who you are helps the people you love to live through you. I don't know what is so great about this stupid deed. <laughs> This is the real deed? Yeah. Now it's in your hands. Hey, hold on a moment, sir. Huh? There seems to be one more claim transfer in the envelope. You need to look at it. The beneficiary, as written here, is Badwick. Isn't that you? Isn't it? 
It sure is. This is one incredible piece of machinery. The only way it could be better is if it were a little bit faster. Now that would be dreamy. I'm doing the best I possibly can. Give me a break. My goodness, Meryl, this car can actually talk. There's no way, Millie. You're just hearing things. Gee, I hope you're right. Girls only care about themselves. Do you have any right to say that after wrecking our car? I think not. You're going to take full responsibility. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? destroy all of mankind right down to the very last speck of dust yet. Why is it that you insist upon meeting your death sooner? <laughs> you don't make any sense. You're just talking a bunch of nonsense. Hmm? It doesn't matter. Huh? <laughs> you volunteered first, that's all. What the, what the hell are you doing? It's simple. You're the first to die. It hurts! Make it stop! I'll have to do that! Doggy! Get that thing off! What the hell are you doing? 
You can't stop me! Get that thing out of here! I can't put it down! Get it! 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 Get it
Why do you think I spared half your men, Commander? My reason happens to be perfectly rational. You see, if your bonds are indeed deeper than family, then you must have the opportunity to give your friends a proper burial. However, this is not an act of mercy. This is to teach you the pain of living. Excellent work, Commander. Gray, the Nine Lives. Dominic, the Cyclops. Zazi, the Beast. Luanoff, the Puppet Master. Hopart, the Gauntlet. Raide, the Blade. E.G. Mine, Kane the Longshot, and myself, your faithful Mid-Valley the Horn Freak. We all offer you our support. Chapel appears to be absent. He seems to be as untrustworthy as the rumors claim. It doesn't matter much. Your target is very close by. It shouldn't be any problem. There's a great deal of talent here. You planning to use all of us on this one target? Hardly. I would never waste all that talent on one target. My respect for you is higher than that. Wouldn't you agree? Dominique? Yes, I'm all you need for this job. Legato, I'll take care of it. I need to ask you something! Open the door! Wait, Bash, what's wrong? Wait, please, I mean you no harm! If you tell me who did this, we can stop him! Was it Legato that did it? Tell me, was he wearing a white coat? I don't feel sorry for you one bit. It's your own fault for trying to force your way into a private residence. He's somewhere in this town. I'm sure of it. But where? Where? You're awfully quiet. Does your finger really hurt that much? Crazy or something? What's gotten into you? What is he up to this time? We're being left behind. He was so tired a moment ago. I don't understand him. <laughs> Should I shoot him? Would you put that down? <gasps> Corpses. Naive. Had I been so inclined, I could have killed you at least three times by now. It would seem that you enjoy dropping in on people just to stir them up. Fun hobby, lady. Who are you? One of the gung-ho guns. Are you on Legato's team? I suppose that's one way of looking at it. I'm the second gung-ho gun. I'm known as Dominique the Cyclops. Is this your doing? That's right. I merely took out some of the trash. They just use people in order to line their own pockets. Call it a spring cleaning of sorts. Well, does that make you feel any better? <sighs> you killed them. Even though they did terrible things, the decision of who should and should not live was never and never will be yours to make! I should slap you. Hmm. Not to mention that during this conversation, I could have groped you at least five times. Okay, so let's say maybe four times. <laughs> well, what now? Shall we fight? Of course. You decided to up the ante and I'm not going to fold. At least not before looking at the cards. Now that wouldn't be fair. I wouldn't do this if I were you. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> What blind optimism. It's easy to see why your understanding of fighting is so simplistic and unsophisticated. You had some success with your barbaric style, but this is the last day you'll be saved by a simple quick draw. <laughs> Are you, lady? 
That was definitely not human. You're an unpredictable man, gunfighter. I actually like your type. Me unpredictable? I'm not the one teleporting all over the place! I'll compliment you upon countering my attack twice. But just how long do you think you can keep it up? Go ahead and try again if you like, but you'd better shoot me this time. That's no empty threat. Unfortunately, she holds the card of maneuverability. I have to find a way to take her down. Look. Look at her. Look hard. She's going to move. Don't you dare miss it. <laughs> You're very confident, gunman. But it is to no avail. Like I told you, you can't beat me. It really doesn't matter how fast you are. You see? I can't follow her. You're very sloppy, gunfighter. That makes it three times that you've made me miss. I'm sloppy. You're the one who missed. I'm using all of my senses. And when she moves, it's like she vanishes. How can that be? How can she move that fast? She did it then. And then... Oh, I get it. Have you rested enough? I would like to end the show soon if it's all the same to you. Well, have you given up? Or are you playing at some kind of pathetic martial art? charm. The spell somehow comes from your eye. That's the card you hold. The demon's eye should affect all five senses, whether your eyes are opened or closed. So how... What are you saying? You escaped the demon's eye by focusing all of your concentration on pain? Don't screw with me. No mortal could possibly do that. Die! over. Instead of spending time cleaning up people, you should be cleaning house for the man you love. Like me, for example. I am kidding, you know. <laughs> Vash? Hmm? Uh, 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 uh. What are you doing to this poor defenseless woman, you animal? Did you see anything that was going on here at all? Are you alright? Come on! What are you doing? This isn't over, Vash the Stampede. It would be nice if you were addressed the next time. Uh, she disappeared. Vash, are you alright? I thought, I thought that I was dead. I can't believe he saw through the demon's eye. I can't believe I was beaten by that feather brain of a man. <gasps> Mr. Vash, I want an explanation of just exactly what went on here today. Huh? Side. Huh? I'm sorry, but this is as far as we can travel together. Why? Because it's become too dangerous. I'm afraid I have to go. I have no choice. We have a job to do. 
It's your job or your life. Which is more important to you? I can't explain now. If I did, you'd be put in danger. So it's been a lot of fun, but, well, I guess that's all. Stay back! Is it possible that this was all a farce just to get me riled? If so, I will turn the tables. Legato, this time it's my turn to hunt you. I'll find you. Whatever it takes. <laughs> hey boss, how long are you going to keep me held up in this place, huh? We got two of our idiots already, while we sat around twiddling our thumbs. You should have let me handle it. That's what you should have done. All right, then I'll let you go next. I'll even set the stage for you. I expect you to entertain him with a unique performance of tricks. <laughs> you can be reasoned with. Let's hope the reward is reasonable. So, are you gonna make him go at it alone this time? <laughs> Hardly. I'm a firm believer that an audience always gets more pleasure from a drama with a twist. It's a simple formula. The greater the tragedy, the greater the emotional effect. <laughs> Sorry, this is as far as we can travel together. Why? It's your job or your life. Which is more important to you? Uh, I can't explain now. If I did, you'd be put in danger. So, it's been a lot of fun, but... Well, I guess that's all! Poor Mr. Vash, I wonder how he's doing. You know him! He's undoubtedly goofing around in some town somewhere. I'm sure he's just fine and dandy. Wait for me! Hey, did you hear? Uh, Remember the guy in the white suit who had caused the saloon riot the other day? Well, he apparently turned out to be one of Vash's gang. Oh yeah, that would explain a lot, including why his methods were so dang vicious. <laughs> but he took off! Yeah, that's right. I guess at this point we should count our blessings that we got off so easy. Yeah, he's a devil in a red coat. That's what he is! Damn, I wish he'd just drop dead. Uh, how can you stand there and say such awful things about him? Huh? I mean, after all, you have no idea what kind of person he is. I think you're disgusting. Huh? Gee, Meryl. Uh, uh, Walk your own path with your head held high. I just have to keep saying it. Right. Millie? Yes? We've got to get going. We have a lot of work ahead. Let's stop wasting time. Okay. If necessary, we'll follow him to the ends of the earth. It's not only our job now, it's become our mission to track him down. I am the one that is hunting you this time. I will find you whatever it takes. Yeah, right. Oh, it sounds real cool in my head, but in reality, I haven't got a clue as to how I'm going to find him. Oh man, what am I going to do? Not only that, the more time I have to think about it, the more frightening it becomes, and now my knees are starting to knock together. Oh man, I actually have to fight this guy! Uh, how can I possibly win such a battle or even have a chance to survive a fight with a guy who smiles with those evil eyes? The answer is I can't. I'm gonna be slaughtered, that's all. It's not even funny. I should just back out. That's what I should do, alright? Yeah, yeah. For once I'm right. Yeah. You're right about one thing. You're not funny. You change your tune faster than radio stations. Yeah, life ought to be fun after all, right? No. Hey, that's super tasty, mister. I'll have another salmon sandwich if you don't mind. 
Augusta, I'll be waiting for you at Augusta Fast the Stampede. You will acknowledge my request immediately. If you do not meet my request, this is a sample of what will happen. Don't! Why? Who did this? There's no blood. Huh? What? Do you actually know him? This guy, you know him? It must be him. He's the only one capable of doing this. Legato. You called him? He's your friend? Uh, hey, is he your friend? Do you want me there so bad you would kill the innocent to get me? All right. I'll go there, Legato. I'll face you on your home ground. Hey! Who are you? Huh? Me? Who the heck are you? <laughs> hey, easy there, pal. Where's the fire? Listen, it's, it, it's Fash the Stampede! He's here! I'm telling you! Oh my gosh, are you sure about that? Yeah, he's running rampant through Augusta and blasting away with that big silver gun of his! It's true! That crazy bastard's gonna do to Augusta what he did to July! Well, it's a good thing we found him! What in the hell could that man possibly be thinking? My name is... Fast the Stampede! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, forgive the lack of warning, but I'm afraid it's time for my daily massacre! And if you don't believe I'm the real thing, take a long look at me and start freaking out! Observe my red coat, my lovely blonde locks! And if you're still having doubts, check out my 100% accurate gunmanship! <laughs> just chasing people out. I'm pooped. I don't like this. It reminds me of the last time. Something's not right here. I'm not sure. Blood. In this game, losers don't get to go home. They go to her. Did you kill them? I am the fifth Gung Ho Gun. My name is E.G. Mai. Did you kill them or not? Damn, you are a noisy one, aren't you? What if I did, chicken shit? You don't seem to want to kill anyone. So someone had to step up and cover your ass. <sighs> and besides, Blondie, you have fallen into my court. Gee, aren't you the poetic one? Are you telling me that I only have two choices? To die or to let die? Whoa, cowboy, don't be such a drama queen. <laughs> only one more has to die. Just stand there like a good boy. As soon as I take you down, it'll all be over. <laughs> what? What's going on? That bastard is trying to cut in on my action. I have chosen to dispatch my saber at this time. The situation may have escalated into a real problem. You would have at least been knocked senseless by your humanoid typhoon there. Say what? Well, now it's getting interesting. Looks like you're the favorite. What's your name? Forgive my lack of manners. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the ninth gung-ho gun of Jigenzan. Trained by the masters of the Ito school, I am Raide, the Blade. I hold no personal grudge against you, but I wish to engage you in Shi'ai. Shi'ai? I can't read that! If you cannot read Japanese, then I'll give you an abbreviated explanation. It's a fight to the death. 
What's in it for you? You playing along with Legato's little farce as well? I would happily walk the path of carnage a thousand times, and a thousand times again for the mastery of Bushido. What? Because there is something only visible when you stand before the Deathly Abyss. I believe you have seen this too, have you not? I haven't seen anything there at all. Except my own fear. That's too bad. I think you should experience heightened that mental state. Come on now. It's my job to slice and dice this guy. Ridiculous. It would appear you simply did not hear what I told you just a few minutes ago. You're right. I didn't. <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? Your match was quite over before my arrival. That fast gunmanship? Words fail to describe its greatness. That man was never an opponent to be humbled by you. You were completely out of your league. Your turn is over. No. Take heart in the fact that you may have served to amuse him for a moment. You slime. Yes, let it burn within you. I feel it build and fester. The angry aura released through your every pore. My knees are shaking. That alone makes my trip to this place worthwhile. It is the source of my greatest pleasure. People don't change their ways that easily. <laughs> you actually think we're people? Absurd. Uh, you and I are men, yet not of men. We are dark, diabolical puppets. But we are our demons! Ah! Wow, what is that? I don't know, but it's definitely not a good thing. You're right, do you think it's Vash? We've got to help him, let's go! Wait, oh! Now. What's wrong? We can't this time. Mr. Vash said it's too big for us to handle. This is seriously dangerous. I am well aware of the danger, Millie. Meryl! Why don't you stop wasting time here and fight me like you mean it? Ah, fight me! Now that was a huge shockwave. Oh, no big deal. Nothing I can't dodge. Ah! Can't you make those bullets hit me, huh? Not 
the light! Oh my god! Mr. Bash meant what he said! Just look at this place! Where is he? We've got to find him! explosion which took July 23 years ago. <laughs> Millie, please let me go! I have to go back! I can't do that! Besides, if you die, you'll never see him again! Survive something like that. Who, who are you? What happened to Vash the Stampede? I don't know. Damn. If we act quickly, we may be able to defeat that man, that horrible devil of a man. Vash the Stampede is too dangerous to be left alive. If you help me, we can do this I together. I can't do that. Uh, are you insane? What's the matter with you? Uh, you and I are. We could. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sure, nobody died from the blast. Just look at this. Another town in rubble. Is this the path you have chosen? Is this it? Vash the Stampede? Hey, did you hear the rumor about how the humanoid typhoon showed up in Augusta? I sure did. You know, they say he managed to destroy the entire city all by himself. First July, and now Augusta. What in the hell can that maniac be thinking? He's completely out of control. It's just getting out of hand. The bounty on his head will only get bigger now. And who's to say he won't destroy our town and any others? I'm starting to believe it's all his fault that we're stuck on this planet. Not to mention all of the other crap I've heard about him. But there's more. They're saying now that he's also solely responsible for that big hole in the moon. It makes me sick just to think about it. What are you, nuts? There isn't a man alive. 
alive who can pull off a stunt like that. Cool your jets, will ya? I'm just telling you what I heard. I'm not making it up. Hey, at this point, maybe we should just be thankful that we're all still alive. Yeah, you said it. Thompson are to return to the main office immediately. Furthermore, in a conference held the other day, it was decided that Vash the Stampede will be designated as mankind's first official human disaster. From this day forward, no matter what kind of damage he causes, the Bernardelli Insurance Society will be... will be... will be... Uninvolved. This can't be. This can't be. What do they think will change by making this decision now? Meryl. Observational data, it seems to be reasonably similar to home. Enough with the scientific crap already. I say we take a chance. Let's <laughs> land this puppy. We've done the cold sleep five times. If we get frozen one more time, we'll shrivel uh, up. <laughs> uh, knock it off. You're such a pig, Steve. It's impossible to settle here, and besides, whether we land or not, that's not a decision for us to make. It definitely has a habitable environment, but it has no existing oceans, and its stratum consists mostly of quartz. It's not worth waking up the old men. Hey, Joey, just out of curiosity, what kind of flowers are on that planet? Huh? Uh, well... Weren't you listening to what I said before, Rem? That planet doesn't Hold have... Hold on. Why not? We don't know that yet. We'll decide once the results of the minute analysis are in. For all we know, it just might have the flowers Rem thinks it has. If it does, I sure hope there'll be red flowers. just you and me and Knives. And even with the rest of the crew, there are only seven of us. All right, Vash. The day has finally come to tell you what is written on the outside of the ship. It says Project Seeds. Project Seeds? Yes. These ships are like seeds that are filled with our own genes. Genes from the human race. They are sent off to discover and populate an unknown world. I suppose you could say that we are the caretakers of all those seeds. If there's a god in deep space, he must be laughing at us right now. Our pitiful struggle for immortality must look like an impossible quest to him. Even though it may look shameful to others, it represents 
for all of us, the desperate human will to survive, to carry on our species. When they arrive, a fight on a new land awaits them. This ship is their home, and until it's time, it's our job to let them sleep in peace. Rem, is there anything we can do to help you? <laughs> oh, that's where you are. So do you want to have lunch in the usual place in the rec room? You really like that song. It seems to pop into my head whenever I'm happy. Do you think it's strange? No, not really. It's a nice song. That's sweet. Thanks, Knives. It's weird. Nothing's actually been moved around. But every time we come here, this place seems different for some reason. That's because it's alive. Hmm? Can't you feel it? It has its own rhythm. You can actually feel the living oh, heartbeat boy. of the plants. There she goes again, thinking about home. So this looks like the world you and the others keep talking about. Well, sort of. But the scenery at home was actually much more expansive, with a lot more variety of plants and animals. I'd like to see that, Rem. We're not just going to see it, we're going to create it. We'll find a place to create our new home. And when we get there... There will be nothing but peaceful days. With no war and no stealing. An Eden where people can live in freedom and harmony, right? The state of our home, Earth, was so desperate, we had no choice but to leave. Mankind could no longer survive there. The entire population was facing death, so Project Seas was drafted as a way to resolve this crisis. Rem, that's our ship, the one you told us about. <laughs> Judging from the computer data, it looks to me like mankind is responsible for damaging the planet, right, Captain? I hate to say it, but it's true. Our young race believed the land and resources were unlimited, which led to gradual destruction. By the time they realized what they had done, it was too late. The planet could no longer take the abuse. If that's true, why did they come up with the idea to set this project in motion? The need to survive. Exactly. The behavior of clinging to life till the verge of death is intrinsic to all organisms. Survival instincts take over, dismissing shame in order to live. But is it right to live if it means such huge sacrifices? We make the smallest sacrifice we can think of at the time. Unlike the other organisms on the planet, we possess logic, the knowledge to minimize the sacrifice. Also, as human beings, we have the ability to right our wrongs. Hopefully we'll learn from our mistakes and start over in a new home. As we journey, we need to take time to search and think of ways to make everyone happy without endangering our environment. This is no good. What are you talking about? I'm not cut out to be an educator. What was I thinking, Rem? I can only teach them how to use the computer. I've never been a father. I don't know the first thing about raising kids. That goes double for me. No, I'm serious. You're teaching them all sorts of things, like emotions, how to be kind to others, and the value of the future. I'm not that great, Joey, really. I just play with them, that's all. It's no big deal. <sighs> yeah, I guess we just have a different way of looking at things. You know, I was thinking, why do you suppose they came here anyway? Because they're angels. Angels? Perhaps we should pay more attention to them. Bash and knives could be angels God sent to point us in the right direction. They may even guide us through our dream. Hey, Ram here? No, she's with the kids in the rec room. Like there isn't a care in the world. Apparently she doesn't realize we still have three plants left to adjust. Oh yes, I meant to tell you, the two little guys took care of those while you were napping. What? Tell me you're kidding, Rowan. I'm fast, but that's still a two-day job for me. What's with them? It's nothing to be surprised about. Their IQ is way above ours. Don't take it so personally. You should be glad they're willing to help. Maybe they're better suited for brain work than you, Steve. You need to lighten up on those kids a little. Cut the crap! <clears throat> Do you really want the ship left in the hands of those monsters? <gasps> Just look at how big they grew in one year! It isn't normal! Those kids are monsters, I tell you! Monsters! Vash! Vash. Hey, you're crying again. What's the matter? It's Steve. He says that we're not human. He hates me! <laughs> <laughs> I know it's hard to understand, but to these people, we're just uninvited guests. We only need to be patient for a little while, until they accept us. But Rem said that we could stay here. Do you think she feels that way? Remember what Joey said? We
we have to make the smallest sacrifice we can think of at the time. If we can do that, we can get through anything. Hey, Vash, do you know why plants can't talk? Rem said it's because they're stronger than we are. She said they're so strong, they concentrate all their energy on living so they don't need to use words. Yeah, they're strong, but we eat their fruit. We have to eat their fruit to live. Do you think I'll be eaten someday? No, Knives, definitely not. At least according to Rem. Don't you remember? She said they're making a different kind of Eden. Knives! What the hell are you doing in here? <laughs> this place is off limits to your kind. You got that, monster? <laughs> so then why am I here? longer. Take your time. This is turning into quite a trim. I never noticed before, but you're really handsome. Really? You think so, Rem? Hey! I have an idea, handsome. It's sticking up. <laughs> I think it's great. It really suits you, Fash. And it reminds me of him. Who? Someone I loved very much back home. So where is he now, Rem? He is in the land of angels, heaven. He was my emotional support. Thanks to him, I was able to face my mistakes without judgment. I learned to make them right again. Then I lost him and realized that I would have to do it alone. But I wasn't afraid to make mistakes anymore. I believed I could point myself in the right direction without looking back. That is exactly why I got on this ship. So I could enter the future as I am. Rem, are you sad? Huh? Well, just a little. You know, you have me. I won't leave you alone. I promise I won't, because I really love you, Rem. <laughs> You're such a baby. <laughs> but thank you, Vash. Anyway, we're done. Shall we switch now? Knives! I knew you'd be in here. <gasps> what happened? Just a small change of heart, that's all. Besides, if we stay the same, there's no individuality. That's a wonderful haircut, Knives. Thank you. As strange as it may sound, I actually feel refreshed. <laughs> you know, you look very intellectual. Why, you look like a regular little philosopher. What do I look like? A, a mama's, mama's boy. boy. That's me. <laughs> huh? I'm amazed you can stomach eating at the same table with those little monsters. Steve, I think you've had one too many. No, oh, I haven't, baby. <laughs> hey, Steve, come on. Don't you have some work you still have to do someplace else? Mm. Oh, shut up, Waydexter. I can always do that later. You're a disgrace. No? Now, is that any way for a grown man like you to behave in the presence of innocent children? <laughs> he sure has been acting crazy lately. It's because he's afraid. Who does he think he is draping himself all over Mary like that? Huh? <sighs> Those two are such a pain. But then again, I suppose just one would be rather boring. Huh? Oh! way to stop him. You wanted to save the butterfly, right? I didn't want to kill the spider. I wanted to save them both. What are you talking about? Unless the spider caught the butterfly, it would die of starvation anyway. You can't save both. Don't you know that? 
It's not right to make that choice so easily. Both of them are living creatures, Knives. So you should... But I'm not wrong about this, Rem. If you just keep saving the butterflies, the spiders will die. Yes, but... Wanting to save both is just a naive contradiction. And what would you have rather had us do? Just stand and think about it? In the meantime, while we do that, the spider eats the butterfly. Uh, uh, what's wrong with you, Knives? Don't you understand? I wanted to save both of them, you idiot! Interplanetary law, Steve is relieved of duty. You will be detained in the freezer. Furthermore, upon the completion of our mission, you will be released from detention to stand trial. That is all. All I did was get a little drunk. Why can't you believe what I'm saying? We haven't heard his side yet. You're not being fair to him. I saw him go into Mary's room, and I find that unacceptable. Hey, wait! I didn't do anything! We still have time to discuss this. In order for us to function as a group, we need law. It protects all of us from harm. The entire team must understand this. But maybe it wouldn't hurt to hear his side of the story before we freeze him. Rem, he raped me. No! I didn't do it! Rem, why can't everyone just get along with each other? I suppose it's because people have many different ways of thinking. But even if we do make mistakes, we have the ability to do something about it and make better choices the next time. And if you keep your vision clear, you will see the future. What happens in our future is our own responsibility. <sighs> Marry you? Here. Uh, come on, you must be teasing. As soon as we're finished here, I'd like you to come to the bridge. The analysis should be in in just a little while. I made sure that Steve will never wake up again. I readjusted the freezer. I didn't mean for us to kill him! I guess now that means we're partners. Huh? Uh. Joey! What's wrong, Rem? The A-12 monitors. Somebody disconnected them. It's her own fault. I had no choice. I helped her and then she betrayed me. I was only trying to protect her from Steve. Rowan, please don't. She even told me she loved me. There's simply no excuse. Rem, you do understand me. <gasps> oh, I see now. It had to be him. Because of him, Mary had to die. It was his fault. Uh, what are you talking about, Rowan? Please put the gun down. Rem, what's happening? Rem, Rem! He can't get away with it, that monster. I have to shoot him. Now get out of the way, Rem! No one has the right to take the life of another. You don't want to kill him. Now put it down. It's not too late. Stay! 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 Ah! Uh. Rowan, what are you doing? Something's broken inside me. I'm numb. I can't... Seem to stop. It's all right, Rowan. Rem, get out of there! Rem! It's not too late to start over. Uh, Here. Uh, uh, please stay back, Rem. Don't make me shoot you! Understand. I couldn't see that from the monitors. I had to decide quickly. If I hadn't... Rowan... Mary... Joey, I agree with you. I think you did exactly the right thing. Rowan went crazy. That's all you could do. That's what I thought. But what if Rem was right? Perhaps he wasn't going to shoot her. If that's true, what I did was a horrible mistake. You're just a human, like the rest of them. I know my choice is the right one. 
Altering ship's course program. <gasps> what is it? We're changing direction. Our course has been re-entered. What? Someone is sending orders to all of the ships. All systems are now operating on auto-lock mode. Oh my god, at this rate, the ships are going to crash on that planet. Apparently, Rowan had started up the orbital program. We have to evacuate. Where's Joey? He told me to get us to the escape pods. He said he'd try to save the ships. But what about all the sleeping people on board? We can't worry about that. We've got to get out of here. Rem, come on. We have to go to the pods. Warning! Warning! The ship is about to enter the atmosphere. Please proceed to the escape pods. Please proceed to the escape pods. Come on! We've got to hurry, Rem! A fight on a new land awaits them. We're not going to see it, we're going to create it. And if you keep your vision clear, you will see the future. What happens in our future is our own responsibility. Ram, what's the matter? Alex, help me, give me strength. You two go on ahead. I don't understand what you mean, why? I can't leave Joey here by himself, and I have to try to find a way to save the others. But the program is already running. You've got to come with us, Ram, please don't leave us. I'm sorry, Vash. If Alex were still alive, I believe in my heart that he would do the same thing. Vash, take care of knives. Don't worry, Vash. actually sacrifice themselves out of foolish sentiment for others. It's incomprehensible. I thought I'd let her live only because you were so attached to her. But now I see how truly imperfect she really was. It's a good thing she died. Don't say that! Their immigration is out of the question. That'd be like spreading pathogenic organisms across our healthy universe. You're saying you planned this? That's right. But don't worry, you and I will be fine. I made sure the plant ship will survive. After all, we need that to create our new home now, won't we, my dearest brother? Only ships carrying the humans will crash. Ah! Bring her back! Bring them back, you bastard! Oh! Oh! <laughs> all ships now commencing orbital correction. What? Reverse thrusters. That bitch actually did it. I'm sorry, Rem. Ash, take care of knives. Trust me, Rem. I will. Hey, Ash. <laughs> now everything that brought you and Rem together is gone. Is that your excuse for killing?! Haven't you learned anything over the past hundred years? You can't even regenerate the scars they carved into your body. It's symbolic of your foolish waste of energy on this garbage. It's not your right to decide whether they live or die! They deserve a chance! What's the use in growing up if the only thing that grows is your sentimentalism?! You're still a good-for-nothing, pathetic wimp! Yeah. <laughs> and get rid of it forever! <laughs> <laughs> Are 
are you planning on staying in bed, Erex? Come on now, get up! Erex? Seems to be an awful lot of tension in this town. I haven't seen you before. I take it you just arrived. That's right. Well, you have my sympathy because mm -hmm. you're never going to leave this town. <laughs> what happened over there? This town has been completely taken over by bandits. Mm -hmm. And to make matters worse, they say that crazy fella Vash the Stampede is running the show. The sheriff went out to negotiate with the varmints, but when he came back, he had doubled his weight in lead. Walking into this town is like walking into a giant spider's web. The legendary gunman's behind this? What do you think? Do you believe it? I don't know what to think. He is the man who turned two of the seven cities into ashes and was called mankind's first localized disaster. Some folks say he put that huge crater in the moon. I guess you'd have to be nuts to believe that. Anyway, whether the legend is true or not, the one thing I do know is this town is in some big trouble. By the way, friend, what is that thing? I'm a traveling priest. Well, that's good timing. You'll be useful here. Don't need anything formal, just some help with the funerals. They took out the chaplain a while back. Time. She doesn't know when to quit. <laughs> She's having some harmless fun, that's all. The guy's a pedophile. He deserved a good thump. Not really. All he did was grab her rear end. Huh? <coughs> Will you keep your mouth shut? What are you telling me? Oh, my dear. Yeah, I'm afraid so, and they weren't real happy about it, but at least I don't think they saw me come in here. Hey, that's not funny, kid. <laughs> if what she says is true... eating yet. All right, where's the little girl who struck my face with her heel? Ah, She's got a ah, price to pay and I'm here to collect. That heel looks more like a whole footprint. Ah, quiet, you! I could see why he's upset. It does ruin his boyish good looks. This guy says he saw her enter that bar. If he's wrong, he's dead. Why? Because I like to kill scum who waste my precious time. In any event, this problem will be solved in approximately three minuscule seconds. Three, two, find it that funny. I just wanted to say that she's only a little 12 year old. Come on now, have a heart, won't you? <laughs> Send out the kid now or else! I'm afraid that's not an option. Looks like you want to kill her or cause her some kind of harm. I won't even ask for a free favor. How about if I do this? <gasps> Will you let her off the hook? Eric's? Sorry, but that's not good enough, Blondie. If you're gonna go down at all fours, the least you could do is act like a dog. And I expect some real commitment. Naturally, that means getting naked. <gasps> all right, it's a deal. You've got to keep your word. I can't let you do this, Eric! Please stop! You don't have to do it! Eric's. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it 
It's not your fault, kid. He's got his reasons. We've got to trust that he knows what he's doing. But why? That's just the way he is. I'm going to thank you for the canine tricks. I've decided to give you a nice big tip. Fetch him a change of clothes. Okay. Let's move him and get this place cleaned up. Hmm? Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't see you there. He'll be all right now, I assure you. I know that, no problem. I just stopped by to see if I could help out. <sighs> you just gonna sleep? Stop oh, out of it! What uh, the hell are you uh, doing uh, to him? He needed it! Doctor, look at that! Oh my gosh! Uh, hey! <laughs> What an amazing recovery. You've regained consciousness so quickly. Excuse me, Doctor, but could you leave the room for a little while? Well, yes, I suppose. Don't let him strain himself, you understand? Well, it's been a long time, Vash the Stampede. <laughs> I finally found you, you dumb jerk. What's a legendary guy like you doing in a place like this? You have no idea what I've been through. I could have destroyed this entire planet with that angel arm of mine. It gets worse. There's a loss of memory. I don't remember what I did. That may be true, but you do know you did it, right? Oh yeah, I know. I have fragmented visions, but more than anything, there's an ache in my heart that tells me I did it. I know I'm the one who put the hole in the fifth moon. It was me. Okay, so you did this terrible thing. Now what? Are you so afraid of what you can do you're living an easy retirement? No. It's just that I want to live quietly for once. So I decided to change my name and my way of life. <sighs> Why are you here, Wolfwood? What brings you to this town? Are you hanging around for a good laugh? Actually, I came to take you away. Away where? Well, if you're asking me for a final destination, I have absolutely no idea. However, the one thing I do know is I need your help. I spent a lot of time combing through Augusta trying to find you. Does the name Frank Marlin happen to ring a bell? All I did was mention your name and he fixed the gun for free. Maybe. 
Why give it to me, huh? I thought you might need it. What I need? What I want is to live my life here, with them. Why was he hospitalized the last time, Lena? He tried to stop a violent drunk at the bar and ended up getting punched himself. And what about the time before that? He fell off at Thomas. Oh. Be sure you remember to thank him. I know. I'll remember, Grandma. Oh. Hello there. Uh, are you okay? Shake, you poor thing. You must have been through an awful lot. It's okay, you'll be safe here. Don't worry, we'll take good care of you. So you're staying here, huh? Whenever I do anything, people die. You want this pathetic little existence so bad that you'd give up everything else, then go for it. By the way, are you familiar with a town called Carcassus? It's a tiny town in the southern Cornelia region. Something really strange happened there about six months ago. Seems the entire population suddenly disappeared without a trace. There was no sign of even the slightest struggle. Everything in town looked completely normal, except that all of the people had vanished, like a mirage. They sent in the cavalry and searched the place over, but didn't find a soul. One cavalry man did discover something very odd, though. It was a man's name, painted on the monument in the middle of the town square. It was one word, carefully written in red. Knives. Destiny is always followed by blood and gun smoke. The result is the same every time. Mountains of death and debris. You've got to go with us, Ralph! Please don't leave us! Bash, take care of knives! You know, I was kind of fond of my new life here. I really hate to leave. Sorry, them's the brakes. Someone's gotta get tough around here or those maniacs are gonna destroy this town. They're both gone! Please don't follow us. Tell everyone to stay where they are. We've gone to get Lena. By themselves? How many are there? About 200. A hundred for each of us, huh? Yep. Well, that's not exactly fair to them. Uh, hey, I don't want you killing anyone, all right? Why don't you just ask me not to breathe? Thou shalt not kill, remember? What kind of church man are you, anyway? Hmm? <laughs> Whoa, deja vu. I've heard that before. Now you're starting to sound like your old self.
Why did I have to go and talk to someone this filthy anyway? What was I thinking? Well, I guess I must be crazy. <sighs> what a mess. How the hell did those two manage to take care of all them thugs by themselves? I have no idea. I've never seen anyone so horrifyingly strong. So your mind is made up then? Yes, I'm sorry. It's time I go, even though I hate to do this to you and Lena. Isn't there anything we can do, Eriks? Maybe if you tell me about it, I could help somehow. Thank you, but I can't. Because you see, if I did, I'd only be putting you and Lena in danger. Here you have a home. You could end up alone again with no one there to help. That's what worries us the most about your leaving. I'm sorry. Who would have guessed that Eric's was Vash the Stampede? Unbelievable. Yeah, tell me about it. And to think that all this time we were convinced that this pig man was Vash. So, you think the legendary gunman's gonna stick around these parts? Shoot, don't even go there. Haven't we suffered enough? Yeah, we ought to run him out right now. She cried, huh? That's a shame, I didn't know. Gee, now I feel bad. I guess maybe I was acting just a little bit too pushy. You don't need to apologize. Mr. Preacher, please take good care of Eric's. Unlike you, he's a bumbling fool of a goody-goody and a sweet, gentle soul. Lena and I have always known somewhere deep in our hearts it was too good to be true. We knew Eric's would probably have to leave us someday, yet we chose not to believe it. Bless him. It doesn't change the fact that we're losing a member of the family. Please, Mr. Wolfwood, don't forget that. I'm truly sorry. I really am. I'm, I'm sorry, Grandma. All done. <laughs> Lena. <laughs> Thank you for everything. I only wanted to keep you safe, but somehow it turned out the other way around. I was too weak. Don't be ridiculous. Thank you. I'm sorry. No, Lena. It's me who should be saying that. Job. Did you enjoy your rest? Uh, I've been traveling around for so long, I guess I haven't quite regained my land legs yet. It must be strange to be home. After all, Miss Strife, you witnessed the hole being burned into the fifth moon. How did it make you feel when you looked up? This is not some huh? tourist interview, Mark. Stop it. You're talking to someone who spent five months on the outside, working with the ultra-dangerous man who's been labeled a human disaster. Considering everything that's happened to her out there, it's a miracle that she came back alive. Yes, but actually, it wasn't as bad as all that. Sure, it got a little bit scary at times, and there was some danger involved, but you know what? Despite his frightening and awful reputation, Vash turned out to be more of a regular guy than you would have thought. Reality check, Meryl. The attitude of yours gets all the oddball jobs, working with dangerous slime. 
It's great that you're so competent and willing, but if you keep risking your life out there, I'm afraid there's no way you'll ever achieve womanly happiness. Excuse me, is this social time, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, good morning. It's nice to see you, Chief. Meryl, will you please step into my office? Um, uh, sir? Hmm? I have to what? Huh? Millie? Millie, where are you? I'm out here. Good morning, Meryl. Ugh! What have you gotten yourself into now? Well, I'm being punished for coming in late for work 20 times in a row. Why do I expect her to change? I'm dreaming. Guess what? We got another assignment today. Vash the Stampede showed up in Little Jersey, and we're the only ones qualified. We leave right away! Yay! Then it's really true! Vash is still alive! Doesn't that make you incredibly happy? Mm. Oh! Ah! Oh, there is nothing to be happy about! Our jobs are on the line here, Millie. We have to stop him this time before he stirs up trouble again. Now come on, you're wasting time. Let's get going. Wait, hold on a second, Meryl. Aren't you being a little hasty? For crying out loud, if he's alive, he could have at least mentioned it. He probably gets a kick out of making people bite his dust. That bum. Meryl! I'll bring you back an AAP bag as a souvenir. See you later, Karen! Oh well, it's no use. There she goes again. I suppose there's just some girls who need to risk their lives. If you're dead, you don't have to say anything, but if you're alive, I would appreciate if you fellas would say something. I'll give you a lift. Uh, gee, gee bless, bless you, mister. Yeah, I am pretty damn happy to be alive. <laughs> Why is it that I always run into so much trouble when you're around? <laughs> you're not a very methodical person, are you? Normally when you buy a used bike, you're supposed to repair it, you know? Make sure it's in decent condition before you decide to take it out and ride it. Are you dissing my beautiful shiny Angelina too, Vash? Actually, I'm dissing you, not your stupid broken motorcycle. Uh, come again, Needle Noggin? Hey, who are you calling Needle Noggin? I say it's pretty darn obvious! Uh, uh, stepped in to help. Seemed like a pretty well-meaning fella. Unfortunately, this is what happened as a result. Once again, he's poked his nose into more trouble. Honestly, that man never learns. Meryl! I just found out where Vash is and they said he's okay. Vash? Yep. The one and only humanoid typhoon. Huh? He carries the dubious title of mankind's first localized human disaster. That's ridiculous. When I saw him, he was weeping and eating piles of donuts at the same time, just like this. Donuts are his favorite food. It's really him? I can't believe it. This nutcase is actually the legendary gunman. So where'd you get your information, Millie? Over the satellite, everyone's talking about it. The report said that he's headed for New Oregon at a speed of 3,000 yards an hour. Isn't that incredible? He can move really fast. That's a little more information than I needed. Yeah, I know. And one of the locals was even running around telling everyone to be careful. You can't be serious. The day before yesterday, most of the Polo family went out of town, leaving no one there but the fourth son, Slater. Also, I found there's a shuttle that goes to New Oregon. It's ideal. A chance like this doesn't come twice. I, I don't know about this. All right, I'll do it. Huh? I think we all agree the Polo family can't be allowed to have their way anymore. Huh? Aren't I right? Right. Well, sort of. At least this time we'll have Mr. Renaud with us to back us up. Yeah, that's true. That settles it then. All right, gentlemen, this is it. We'll meet here again at sunup tomorrow. Shut up and listen up! Today I'm going to school you people! Today's lesson is about typhoons! Since you probably don't know, here I go! 
A typhoon is a little phenomenon where the wind blows like crazy and carries your houses and kids off into the sky. Her name is Jacqueline, and this lovely young lady has come to wipe you out. What's all this about, Mr. Typhoon? Are you expecting a relative of yours sometime soon? So, is that what a typhoon is? A furious beauty who levels entire cities without even a warning. Huh. Hmm? A beauty? Sounds pretty tough. <laughs> Huh? Hey, by the way, who's picking up the tab for this little food? Of course. Me? Why me? I was the one gracious enough to give it to your stupid whining and come all the way out here to New Oregon. I didn't ask you to do that. Now listen up. This town may look peaceful, but things are likely to get bloody around here at any time. I don't know if you're aware of this, but the Polo and Freeze families are still quarreling over the rights to the satellite. A girl who was a distant cousin of the Freeze family was murdered in cold blood. It's a high-stakes feud. The more I think about it, I don't want this town to turn into another little jersey. Let's take off before it's destroyed. Hmm? <laughs> Knock it off! But doesn't that story get you upset? Oh. Why do things like that have to happen? It's not like it's anything new. This kind of thing happens all the time. Even the most peaceful folk will take up arms if someone happens to threaten or kill a family member. Bottom line is, we should go before we get involved in this. I've always had my suspicions that you were no mere mortal. But I never imagined you were actually a cat. Wait! What the hell am I saying? Where is that idiot? Sir? Uh, Altogether, your meal comes to exactly 30 double dollars. Put it on my tab? No dice. Oh, rotten needle noggin. Uh, Mr. Slater. There's a hick outside asking to be let in, sir. Sir? I'm not interested in any beggars or job hunters. Just send them away. A friend of mine works here and I was in the neighborhood. I just thought I'd drop by to say hi to him. Hey! I didn't say you could come in here, street worm! Who are you here to see? His name is Max Simon. That old codger actually has friends? Go ahead, entertain him. All right, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Bye. <sighs> sure about this, boss? Do I really have a choice? He's a friend of Max's and I'm not about to start any trouble now. This was a good idea. We did the right thing to splurge on a room in second class. Yeah, the last time we rode one of these, it was full of bandits. The whole experience was ruined. If we run into him in New Oregon, things are going to get real busy. Let's enjoy the peace while it lasts. I guess that means we're going to get dragged into trouble again, huh? Oh, Hands in the air and mouth shut. You better not try anything funny. You understand me? Uh, not not again. Again. easy on yourself and don't move. I promise you won't be harmed if you just cooperate. You have a chance to stop this right now and the law will be more lenient. I gave up my life a long time ago. Besides, there's a damn good reason I'm doing this and I don't care what the cost is. <sighs> We've almost reached our destination. Make sure you keep an eye on him. Got it! If he were alive, she'd be about your age now, you know? <sighs> I'm not finished with the forecast. Beat it, leave me alone. I can see you haven't changed a bit, old man. Vash! It's been a very long time. What happened to the old sappy outfit? I guess I kind of wore it out on my last job. <laughs> well, welcome back. You are here on business or just come to pick up Jacqueline's dress? Hmm. Has it really been ten years since your last visit, Vash? <laughs> Oh, 
Listen carefully. The Freeze family has seized the satellite facility. The injustice we have suffered at the hands of the greedy, vicious Polos have left us with no choice. We have but one demand. Bring us the head of the Polo family. We have a guest we think will be of great interest to him. Help me! Somebody help me! So that's how it is. If our demands are not met within three days, I will not be able to guarantee his safety. The head of the family is in Neo Colorado. It's impossible he'll never make it back within three days. Are you going in? You know me, Max. It's just my nature. I have to do it. All right! All we have to do is kill Polo, use Jacqueline for cover, mm -hmm. and make tracks. Piece of cake. Who's Jacqueline? It's the name of the typhoon which is heading for this town, and it's coming soon, little Ugh. lady. He's talking about the real storm kind of typhoon. How in the world did you mix that up, Millie? What were you thinking? I feel so silly it slipped my mm. mind. Darn it, I hate being wrong. That's not what I want to <laughs> hear. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here, Millie. All right. That's enough. I don't think so. I, I saw white angels. They seem to have the hostages under control. He says we can do whatever we want with the others, you know what I mean? Sounds good. I say we go have some fun. I just love party time. You two should be ashamed of yourselves. Huh? Vesh, amazing, are you still doing things this way? Uh, yeah. What the hell? Are you a polo bodyguard? No, I'm not. If you have a death wish, gentlemen, try to take us down. But before you do, you should know that this man is Vesh, the Stampede. What'd what you say? say? Oh, come on, Max. Can you at least act the part? They'll chicken out and run away, and we won't have to fight them. Do you really think so? There's no one to shoot here. Now take your finger off the trigger. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Listen up! Hmm? What is it? It's the gunman! It's Vash the Stampede! He's coming our way! He's coming! You saw him? But why? What would Vash the Stampede be doing here? This is like a bad dream. Enough. Calm down. Mm -hmm. uh, rumors like this are always exaggerated. And even if he is the real thing, he still has to take that passage to get here. It's the only way in. Remember, it's the reason we chose this location. <laughs> oh, yeah. Huh? Oh. He's here. Total slaughter. Total slaughter. I won't leave a single man alive. La di da di da, genocide. La di da di da, an ocean of blood. Let's begin the killing time. He's singing. God, what horrible lyrics. Stay right where you are. Huh? He's just trying to scare you. <sighs> I knew it wouldn't work. Huh? Hey, can I ask you something? Yeah, what? Would you prefer to call off our little game like a sensible adult? Or would you rather get injured and be out of the game for good? How about a new game? I'll answer your question with another question. Now that I'll play, do you want a belly full of lead? Oh, what a shame. A negotiations breakdown. Get out of my way! <laughs> Hey, Mr. Renown! 
that's it. The fight is over. It's time for you to let go of the hostage now. Actually, I'm grateful to you. Now that that's out of the way, I'm gonna get to kill him. I'll whack you, mister. What could possibly give you the right to do something like that? Now, come on. Give the guy a break. Forget it! How would you knock it off? He killed her! This bastard killed her. He killed my daughter, and he's gonna die! He's gonna pay for her death with his life! We're nothing like God. Not only do we have limited powers, we sometimes are driven to become the devil himself. What's your answer this time? That was my daughter. My daughter. This is horrible! Dear God, Donahue! I know she's related to the Freeze, but she had nothing to do with it! Uh, I'll make it fast. Uh, <laughs> Once I'm finished here, you can hand me over to the Sheriff, or even the Calvary! For all I care. Don't do it! Please! <laughs> I don't want to die. Forgive me. Forgive me, please. I'm sorry. How dare you beg for your life? What about my daughter begging for hers? When I saw what you did to my little Eileen, my Eileen, no human being could do such an evil thing. You people. You people aren't human. You all need to die. No, let me die. Stop. Stop. Oh, stop, please. Justice at last. <laughs> Don't, it's wrong! I must avenge her. <laughs> Get off! God, what the hell do you know about this? You can never understand how I feel! I don't want your help! Let go of me! Did my daughter scream for her daddy? <laughs> How many times? <laughs> don't take this man's life! Don't kill him, please! Please don't shoot him! Don't do it! I'm begging you! <laughs> this is so strange, Eileen. I, I I can't shoot him. Why can't I do it? I want to avenge you. Why can't I do it? He should die! <laughs> I'm just glad it's over now. I think it would be a good idea to get both of them as far away from here as we can before the cavalry arrives. The shootout which began late this afternoon was brought to a safe conclusion with one swift charge of the cavalry. The 12 idiots who were held hostage, myself included, were freed. For an incident involving the humanoid typhoon, the damage wasn't that bad. The day after tomorrow, a real typhoon is coming to town. Be very, very careful, boys and girls. Go easy on the nice guy stuff, okay? You gotta start taking care of yourself. Luck and persistence won't work forever. So long. <laughs> long time no see. Yeah.
So this is a typhoon. I've heard that wind can be strong, but I never dreamed it could blow with this kind of force. Yeah, you're right. In fact, this one is so huffy, she must be related to <laughs> Mr. Bash. Her name is Jacqueline, and... <laughs> Mr. Vash, excuse me, but may we have a moment to speak with you? Uh, huh? Please don't look for me. Vash. Damn, he got us. Either he's incredibly slippery, or he's just gone completely out of his mind. I can't believe he'd actually go out in these conditions. No problem, we'll find him. Huh? I suspected he might try this, so when I brought him breakfast earlier this morning, I slipped one of these into the food on his plate. Oh my gosh, that's a transmitting device. I'm amazed the company let you have something like that. <laughs> Since I'm always messing up, the chief gave it to me as a going away present. He says it'll keep anyone from outwitting me. <sighs> Millie, I hate to tell you, but that's nothing to brag about. Look, look, he's really close by. We're catching up already. Yeah! Warmer, warmer, warmer. Meow. Uh, oh my god, he changed into a cat this time. Millie! to visit in over 20 years. Mr. Legato, it has happened. 
happened as expected. He has made his move. Oh, Rash the Stampede appears to be working with a minister clad in black. I suspect this man is... Never mind him. Your task will remain the same no matter who he is. Yes. Understood, sir. You're such a fool. Had you behaved, you might have lived to see Doomsday. But I must say, I am pleased. For now, I have an opportunity to fulfill another of my master's wishes. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, you won't believe this. Are you going to tell me that someone is here from the outside? Uh, yeah. It's been a long time, but he's back. So, Brad, have you ever met him before? Well, yeah, I have. But I was just a kid back then. <laughs> then this will be the first time you've met a real legend. He's changed over the years. Come with me. So he really is back. What do you know? This is amazing! How many years has it been since I last opened this door? ship aren't about to trust a bunch of outsiders bringing in war and violence. You make this place stink like gunpowder. Stay put until he gets back. I don't want any trouble. Got that? Uh, you could at least offer me a drink or something. For crying out loud, I am not the least bit happy about this, Millie. We had just found him again, and then we let him slip right out from under our noses. I know all that, but we can't go out there. It's too dangerous. We have to, and besides, danger is part of the job.
entire city surrounded by lost technology. I'm seeing it to you little by little, my little noggin. Get out of here, mister! <gasps> I'm so sorry, but it's he's cool. right. I hate to say it, but I feel the same way he does. I'm begging you for the good of all of us, please leave this place. Why, so you can all just carry on with your perfect cozy little sheltered lives? Huh? You need to realize your plants are not inexhaustible. They could very easily break down someday. You can't cling on to them forever. This technology has a finite lifespan. What are you telling us? You have no idea how hard it is to maintain these systems. We're not planning on anything shutting down for a long time now. And anything's better than living out there. I've heard that people's lives are meaningless to you, so why should we listen to anything you have to say? Yeah, that's right! <laughs> No matter what you say, it's not going to change anything! You better get used to the idea that someday you're going to all live on that desert planet! Anything new happen while I was away? No, not much. They're still sleeping in suspended animation. Really? We were all worried sick. You've been out of touch for nearly five years. I'm sorry. Sure. Like you even care. Five years is probably nothing more than the blink of an eye for you anyway. That's enough, Brad. Vash is not that kind of person. Person? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Since you have returned, I suppose that means it's not over yet. Did you come into contact with him during the Fifth Moon incident? Not directly, but my guess would be that he had something to do with it. I have absolutely no memory of it happening, just like the time before in July. Tell me, Vash. Did you fire it? Hey, Mr. Legend! <laughs> Since you're the one that fired off the big weapon, doesn't that make you more destructive than knives? I said enough, Brad! Well, doesn't it? Brad! That's right. I suppose it does. That is not funny. That is not funny! It's the whole damn world we're talking about here! Don't you think I am aware of that? However, the only one who has been able to oppose knives, fight off his demons, and survive them is that gentle man you're holding by the neck. I'm asking you to please trust me. Please. I'm sorry. He's right. I can't blame him. To simple and ordinary people, I must seem like a monster. Huh. Well, that's half his problem. He's hopelessly in love with Jessica, and he just told her for the first time. Jessica. I'm sorry, Brad, but I'm going to marry Bash. Uh, 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 I'm going to marry Bash. 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 So that's the other half of Brad's problem. <laughs> What's in there? A little something you might be needing. He hasn't been much fun, but I'm sure glad he's back. At least he hasn't changed. He hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Bash! Wait! Wait for me! <sighs> Look at me! Look at me! I'm in love! <laughs> this damn ship is full of nothing but rotten, ignorant people. Doesn't anyone trust the word of a priest anymore? <gasps> hey, open up in there! What's going on? What's wrong? What the hell's going on in there? This is 
great, Doc. It's by far the smoothest one yet. I'm glad you like it. Now we'd better hurry. It's gotten very late. Jessica will be furious with you. <laughs> Strange. She said she would be here. Huh? Oh, yes, that present. She wanted to give it to you. She's been looking forward to your return for quite some time now. Doc, what is this? Hmm? <gasps> I'll say it one more time. I didn't kill them. Shut up! You're a killer and a liar, outsider! You're serious, aren't you? Really want to fight me, huh? Hey, what are you doing? Joseph! Move it! possibly survive a fight against this breed of bad guy. The one-off, I presume. Oh, so you know my name. Well, I must say, I mind. I'm afraid we've never met, but I have heard of you. An interesting reputation. You are the man who rings the black funeral bell. Chapel... Don't say it! Enough with your puppets! situation there is another way if we simply ignore the girl's plight we'll definitely make it through huh? <gasps> what did you say i think that's the best option at this point in time it's the only logical way any of us will survive against them no I... you can't however i do know of a guy who whines cries and throws tantrums and he somehow manages to find a way to save everyone <gasps> he's a crazy man who's not afraid of anything even though he's been scarred from head to toe, he'll always be there. <laughs> Jessica! Jess, are you alright? They didn't hurt you, did they? I guess they didn't. What took you so long? <laughs> on earth of all different colors and shapes and sizes. They hold a very special place in people's hearts. Can you eat them, Rem? <laughs> Some flowers can be eaten. Do you like flowers? I love flowers. Especially red ones. You know they can be very symbolic. Even the tiniest flowers which brave the elements behold a magnificent strength. And bash. In the language of the flower, red geraniums represent determination and Courage. Hey, wait a sec. Where'd you get the red coat? I don't believe it. It's Vash the Stampede. <laughs> Some of my children are still there. Besides, 
Did you really think that the gung-ho guns only come to call one at a time? What are you saying?
You'll stay with the doctor until this is over. Wait a second. You mind telling me what the hell these things are? Because you're the one we should blame for this. Get moving! <sighs> Stop him. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? I'm making myself a little shortcut. You know what? Now that I actually stopped to think about it, this is really kind of... punch.
Well, how'd that feel? <gasps> it didn't make a dent. I get it. You must be Gray the Nine Lives. Can't exactly say I'm happy to meet you. I guess the rumor of the man with the nine extra lives actually had some truth to it. Damn, you're a persistent bugger. I got that 
Way too close to the plant. Don't! No! if you're willing to look for it. We haven't tried everything yet. Are you just gonna roll over and die? Because if you want to live, think! Think of what you should be doing. You can operate the controller, can't you? Well, can't you? Yes. Good. And there's still time. Still time. I'm in. Can you do it? Answer me! Come on now, friend. It's not over just yet. Hold on just a little bit longer. I can help you if you're willing to give it a try. I know we can do this. Please. That? I don't believe it! The plant! Uh, it's coming back to life! Check it out! The power levels are rising! We're gonna make it after all! Shut up! The 
this wasn't because of him. It's our fault. We all chose to ignore reality when we knew what would happen someday. We never lifted a finger to help, so we have no right to point one now. We just huddled together, shaking in fear like scared animals. We're still alive, and that's what matters. If we can work together, we can build a decent life on this ball of sand. Brad. Vash! <gasps> Vash! Jessica. You're all right. What a relief. That reminds me. I never thanked you for the new coat, did I? So thanks. It fits me like a glove. Great. It looks really good on you, Vash. She doesn't seem upset about the ship at all. Gee, she's a tough cookie. <laughs> <laughs> Actually crying, Bash the Stampede. That is wonderful, truly wonderful. Brad! Brad! Hang on, Brad! Don't drink this stuff, you have no tolerance for it. It's disrespectful to the booze to drink it like that. Ah, I'm impressed. Hooch's brand name. <sighs> Look, we did everything we could. You've got to stop beating yourself up. You have to call it something. Call it destiny. Don't try to justify it by labeling it with a simple word. So many died. They won't be coming back. I can't stand it. It's more than I can bear. I killed him. I killed Brad.
touches me ends up dying. That very well may be, but there's nothing you could do about it at this point. You've still got somewhere else you have to go. Don't you agree? I agree. I'm not done yet. Whatever it takes, I have to face him. Ah, there it is. We're here, it's about time. Yay, team! I'll have a pudding all of oat and a mocha frosty cream. Am I correct in assuming that means you're hungry? Well, amazing. How could you tell, Mr. Wolfwood? I know absolutely everything about you, honey. Well, forget it, dear. I'm afraid sex chocolates are out of the question. <laughs> nice comeback. <laughs> <laughs> Vash? Yeah, Meryl? What's up? Uh, um, nothing. Hello? Is anybody in there? Hello? Who's there? We're poor, unfortunate, hungry travelers aimlessly wandering the desert. Excuse me, would it be alright if we came inside? I'll let you in for 300,000 double dollars. Oh. 300,000? Exactly. I said it because I know you don't have it. It's my little way of saying you're not welcome here. Why the sudden hostility? We don't mean you any harm. Yeah, it's not like we're dangerous or anything. I'm Meryl Strife from the Bernardelli and... <laughs> oh! I don't care if you're from Bernardelli or the feds. My answer's final. You're not coming in, do you understand? Hey, you're not being very fair about this. Let's go. Huh? How come? They don't want us, and we have to respect them. The people of this town probably have a good reason. It's not just a whim. I can't believe he's just leaving. Isn't he over it yet? What? Hi, can I help you? Are you all right? Now, now, aren't you going to say thank you to the nice man? Say thank you. Come on now. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Huh? <laughs> hey! There's only desert that way! Let's go. I think we need to take a little side trip. Quit standing around wasting time. What Come are you on. doing? Hurry up! Anybody home? It's unusual, but that sort of thing has been known to happen. You guys have been a great help, actually. We didn't have much to eat, and you came in a really good time. No big deal, just lending a helping hand. So I was just wondering, why is it they won't let you into the town? They won't let any outsiders in, even if they're only children. The townsfolk are frightened. It's as simple as that. Why? I'm not sure. But I do know that every town in this region has been abandoned. Well, except for Kibas over there. My town was abandoned, too, the same way. One day, without warning, everyone just stopped what they were doing and they began to walk. They didn't take a thing with them. They didn't say a word as they left. Dad! Dad, what's wrong? What's wrong? 
What's the matter? Say something! What's happening? Oh! What are you all doing? Dad! just left home, walked out of town like they were blind and dumb. They looked like zombies, like something was controlling them. All of the others went through the same thing with their parents. They all left at the same time. Tell me one thing. During the time this was happening, did you see anyone other than the townsfolk there? No, uh-uh. But actually, I did hear a strange voice. What did it say? I still don't understand what it had to do with them leaving home. It said this is what you get for taking so long. It's him. Boy, he never does get a break, does he? Poor sap. So what are you going to do now, Vash? You going in or what? <laughs> What'd I say? No kid is ever going to warm up to a guy that walks around with an empty smile. Why don't you guys hand that up to me? I'll be happy to carry it for you. Let's go. <laughs> huh? Did you say something about kids warming up? All right, shut up. It's just that these guys are a little bit shy, that's all. Huh? You two are so good. You're great at helping out. Thank you very much. <laughs> huh. So if you cut it with a knife along the tendon at a right angle like this and sprinkle on a lot of pepper, it'll actually last a lot longer than you think. And guess what? It'll taste better, too. Really? really? <gasps> Women are a marvel, aren't they? That's for sure. Hey there, what you cooking, guys? That's our secret until supper time. Yeah! Oh, geez, how could you be so cold? That guy, he is nothing but trouble. Dig in, everyone. <laughs> Help yourself. This is this is yummy. <laughs> Fast asleep at last. I'm guessing it's a long time since they were able to relax. Just look at those happy faces. <laughs> Mommy. Daddy. If I take too long, they'll make another move. Still. Can't just leave these kids. Hmm? Quit being so serious and cheer up. Come on, let's have a drink. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Huh? 
I were not exactly sure what we did to upset you fellas. We meant no harm. Would you mind filling us in a little bit? You're just pretending to be nice to these kids for camouflage, you piece of trash. I don't buy your crap for a minute. I'm really sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with us, Spiky Boy. You and your pals are the only outsiders anywhere near town. Wait, this is a false alarm. We didn't do anything. This is all some kind of terrible mistake. Oh, yeah. You're a real Mr. Nice Guy, aren't you? Jeffrey was killed and he was my best friend! Stupid bunch of blundering ignoramuses! Wait, stop! Give the goody-goody routine a rest, will you, Vash? Please, just listen to what we have to say. You worthless piece of shit! You have to hear me out. destroyed now. Where's Millie and the boy? It's all right. They're over with Wolfwood. Yeah, they'll be all right then. But what is this feeling? I keep having the strange sensation like something is out of place. <laughs>
it. a high-frequency device to control them. I want to know why. They're your own people. Why would you want to hurt them? Because <laughs> they're not my people. Because I am a gung-ho gun! <gasps> I'm the fourth of the gung-ho guns. I'm Zazie the Beast. You're kidding. <laughs> Don't cry! God, that is so annoying. This confirms why I hate children. They whine, they get depressed, and they'll only brush their teeth when they're told because they're too stupid to do otherwise. They completely lack any concept of free will! You probably aren't even capable of comprehending why I would choose to do something this intricate. Stop it, no! <laughs> what are you doing, Pete? My name is Zazie. It's Zazie the Beast. You know, this isn't who you really are. Huh? It's true, I saw you crying the other night. <laughs> the demon hasn't won. At one point, you even tried to cheer me on in spite of him. Well, that's where you're wrong. Demons can block your consciousness and memory on demand. I don't believe that. <laughs> you want it this way? You're forcing yourself. Goody two-shoes idiot, you don't know who I am! That's fine, believe whatever you want. You could just die thinking your pleasant little thoughts. Stop this beat right now! Wolfwood. It didn't have to end like this. Kids are kids, and that's one thing. This was no kid. He was nothing but a damn demon. And if I hadn't shot him, that would have been you lying there. But you're wrong. He wasn't going to shoot me. I saved your ass yet one more time, and you come after me with your childish bullshit? You shouldn't have killed him. You know you're wrong. What other alternative do I have if we're going to survive? Oh. We're searching for a place where we can live our lives in peaceful days with no wars and no stealing. A place that isn't run by fear. A place where people can live and actually trust other human beings. Uh, I don't want to hear it. I don't need to hear your idealistic dreams right now.
picked up my first gun at the age of seven, and I shot. I remember how strangely easy it was to pull the trigger. I actually laughed. Because that one shot was all it took to finally silence that sickening piece of garbage who had the nerve to call himself my guardian. <laughs> it was that simple. And so, I was free. Yes, tomorrow things would be different. <laughs> tomorrow. As much as I wanted to believe, it only went from bad to worse. A vicious cycle. Life is like an incessant series of problems, all so difficult, with brutal choices and a time limit. The single worst thing we can do is to make no choice when we're waiting for the answer to come to us. You must make the best decision in a split second. We are nothing like God. Not only are our powers limited, we sometimes are driven to become the devil himself. I didn't want other kids to grow up like me, so I started my own orphanage. It was gratifying work. I was actually doing something for the good of others. It was my place of peace and happiness. Yet sometimes, I still think to myself, there's no place worse than this planet. It's horrible here. Understand you, Knives. How can you enjoy this? Ah, oh, shit. This thing's filthy. You're wrong! He wasn't gonna shoot me! Please, please don't look at me like that. There are extenuating circumstances you don't understand. You still need some work. It's not healthy to hesitate, because every time you do, you wear down a little more of your life. I'm sure I told you that before, haven't I? Why have you come here? Apparently you've lost some weight. Why, Nicholas? I've been traveling with a real troublemaker. It's not wise to drown in each other's pain. It's time for you to kill this man now. <sighs> but Knife specifically told me to bring him back alive. The order was not to destroy him. I'm afraid that order has been retracted. What about the money? Don't worry, it will be paid as promised. Follow through with your mission, and I guarantee the lives of your precious December orphan children upon the holy name of the Chapel of the Gung-Ho Guns. And as of now, you too, my friend, are also a Gung-Ho Gun.
the situation as instructed, and you will inherit my title. at me. It was as though he was the one who killed the kid. Damn it, I'll take the blame. Hit me if you need to. Then, maybe at least I can... Mr. Priest? Oh good, I was hoping I'd find you here. I thought you might be hungry, so Meryl and I made you sandwiches and I'd be very happy if you'd eat them. Oh yeah, and you take your coffee black, right? Why haven't you said anything? Anything? About the kid I killed the other day. Oh. Oh, I just don't know what to say. I'm so confused. Because what you said was right. And what Mr. Vash said was true, too. I don't like it when people have to die. What would you have done? I don't know, really. That's not good enough! I don't understand him. Even in such an impossible situation, he keeps saying that nobody had to die. How can he believe that? That's the way Mr. Vash has always been. I know because I've watched him for a long time. He's lived by that rule his whole life. It's very important to him. Thou shalt not kill, remember? What the hell kind of churchman are you anyway? Come on! I've lived my life very differently from him, and I guess I have to accept that. I was supposed to guide him. I was ordered to protect him. It was my job to be there for him. But the mission, the obligation, it doesn't matter anymore. I honestly wanted to save him, even if it meant killing a child. I actually wanted to save him. I had no alternative. I had to choose one or the other. <laughs> it's so strange. Where did I go wrong? I, I've always chosen the right path. Haven't I? <laughs> oh. Oh. Thank you. You're so kind. You need your strength. Please eat the sandwiches. Will you please eat them with me? Millie's so late getting back to her room. I don't know. What should I do? What should I say to him? Ram. without saying goodbye. I shouldn't have hit you the other day. You didn't deserve it. I'm really sorry. It's all right. Maybe there was a way out of that problem. Maybe what we should have done would have been something like- SHUT UP! THAT'S ENOUGH! Our lives are too different, Vash. You and I were destined to come to this. It's part of who I am. Long ago, we started a quick draw tournament. We're going to settle it at last. Right here and now. Why at this time? If I tell you, will you agree to die? Draw! Draw! Okay, I'll do that for you. But in return, will you do something for me? 
Yeah, what? When this is all over and I'm dead, you won't ever shoot anyone again. When this is over and I'm dead, you don't ever shoot anyone again. You actually expect me to become a living target like you are? All right, so how do you plan to get out of this predicament, huh? I don't know. Then answer me one thing. You're obviously going after Knives. What do you intend to do once you find him? Many years ago, he stole someone who was very important to me. So you want revenge? I don't know. I really don't know. I see. So that's how you live. That's how you choose to live. You know what? You're an expert at pissing me off. Amazing. Hey, Wolfwood. Take cover! It must be Kane. He's probably sniping from the outskirts of town. If we don't do something now, he will hit his target. And he's not alone. What? Why don't you go after Kane? You shouldn't have any problem finding him. The other one's mine. By the way, I only know you as the Stampede. I think you can at least tell me your real name. No way. I'm not gonna tell you just so you can go out and get killed today. Now don't be stupid. Tell me. Between you and me? My name's irrelevant. <laughs> Time to get back to business, Bash. Hmm? Wolfwood, why? No, doesn't matter. and my rough calculations of the angles on impact. I had a hard time finding you. Well, gee now, since your gun's gone to pieces, why don't you head on home? It's too hot out here. Great, I'm glad you're seeing it my way. <gasps> Where? Where will he attack from? Tell me, is this good enough? 
is it? I'm done. That's gonna be it for me. Now that's tasty! This is a huge disappointment to me. I can't believe you'd so easily waste the ten years of training I gave you, Wolf Actually, it wasn't wasted at all. I've used everything you've taught me. I just decided to do things a little differently. May you go with God's protection. Oh yeah, and thanks for the apple. What's wrong? I failed. I failed to save someone again. Man is born a mortal being and we all make mistakes. It's part of the game. Just be more careful the next time. It's hard for me to accept making mistakes like this. Then, you can choose to suffer. That's also a part of the experience of mortal life. Oh yeah, mortal. By the way, Knives is in, Dimitri. What did you say? I never told you anything about knives. How did you know that? I hope you don't mind me barging in like this. Confession I've chosen. I've never actually made a confession before. It's these times we live in. I did what it took to protect the children at any cost. That's how I always justified my actions. I took many people's lives. All that time believing there was no other way. <sighs> my sins are so heavy. Too heavy. Too heavy to ever atone for. <clears throat> yet, somehow I feel happy, at peace with myself today. It really can be done. Once you stop to think about it, th there are plenty of ways to save everyone. Why didn't I ever listen to him? Why didn't I see that before it was too late? Somewhere where life is easier. Somewhere with nothing but peaceful days. Somewhere with no stealing. No killing. Eden. In Eden, I could live happily with him and the girls. I'm not ready yet. There's still so much left to be done. I want to stay with them. I don't want to die! Everything I did in my life a mistake. Would I 
be wrong now to ask for your forgiveness. I did not want to die this way! What a pleasant surprise. A fortuitous occasion indeed, just who I wanted to see. You're angry with me, aren't you? Apparently you're unhappy that I forced you to kill Nicholas D. Wolfwood. The curtain will rise for the final act. <laughs> I'm curious. Why did you come here? I, I don't know how to live without being able to pay off a debt. That's nonsense. Animals run instinctively when they sense danger. But your behavior is completely irrational. <laughs> your sacrifice is meaningless. You don't even deserve to be called a fool. The only reason the human race came to possess the capability of compassion and the sense of moral was because they somehow mistakenly believed themselves to be a superior breed of beasts. The moment they taste the fear of knowing there's a superior breed, something seems to take control over them every time. And for some reason, humans act merely by instinct from that point on. The, the cornered mouse attacks the cat, even knowing the cat has the upper hand. But the cat is wise to the mouse's game. The mouse seeks death in order to avoid the pain. <laughs> Imagine the place between life and death. Yes, the pain you feel is your very essence. The essence of the crude animal known as Homo sapien. Garbage, only good for consuming resources. I understand. Master, Bash the Stampede will experience eternal pain and suffering. May I have some donuts, please? Oh, yeah? How many do you want? Thirty double dollars worth. Oh, and could you please make them fresh ones? I don't want any day-olds, okay? Fine, yeah. Whatever, don't worry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> A populated city at last. Sure feels good to see happy people around again. It's a lucky, lucky day. Bonjour, j'aime. Mm. That smells great. What a heavenly aroma. Smells like little cakes made from honey. And without further ado! This is incredible! 
Super tasty. It's so good to be alive. <laughs> Come back. Mom says she's gonna buy some new toys. Hurry up. Have you been to Maggie's store? She has new bolts of that nice fabric you like so much. I had no idea. Thanks a lot. I have the outfit. Which girl is she? Never mind. I'll go tell her myself. At least tell me her name. Look, it takes three days to get there by sand speed. Forget it. Trust me, you've got absolutely nothing to worry about. It'll be fine. All right. You say so. These are good. These are really good. Oh, why are these so I don't understand it. Why do all these terrible things always have to happen whenever you're around? Why did Mr. Wolfwood have to die? <sighs> Who is he? You must tell me now! You heard about it. You have to tell me! I am to blame. It's because of me that friends die. They all got involved because of me. I'm sorry, but that's why you can't stay with me. I asked you an important question, and I expect a decent answer. I need to understand. Please, for once, I need you to be honest with me. As long as he lives, I could never die honorably. As long as Knives is alive. Who's Knives? My brother, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> That's it. Now I need to spend a little time alone, okay? And besides, there's a girl in pain who could really use your support right now. All this time. Are you sure? Huh? I mean, don't you want to follow him? Frankly, I'm glad that no good troublemaker is gone. Let's get the report in quick and get them to take us off this detail once and for all. There's so many better things out there. Besides, we don't have enough lives. I can handle it, Meryl. But you? Unless we go after him now, there's a good possibility that we may never see him again in this lifetime. Is that all right with you, Meryl? Hmm? <laughs> I'm completely, totally, perfectly fine now. In fact, I need to get up and go. And besides, as we both know, if we don't work, we don't get paid. <gasps> Millie. <laughs> All right, first things first. Do you have any idea which way he went? Yes. Great, then. We have nothing to worry about. I'll be ready in a few minutes. Gather all of your things together, too, Meryl. Make sure you don't leave a thing behind because we won't have time to come back. <gasps> yes, of course. Hey, this guy's crying. Yeah, and he's a grown-up. Is there something wrong with that? Everyone feels like crying sometimes. Why are you crying? A friend of mine went away and I'm sad. Why? Because... He died because of you, didn't he? <gasps> it was your fault. You're the one who killed Wolfwood, aren't you? Yeah, if you hadn't swayed him with your stupid ideas, he might have had a chance. You know that's true, he didn't have to die. What are you saying? Uh. <laughs> I 
I decided to do this as my humble way of exhibiting grief for the loss of a good friend. How'd I do? You again? Damn you! Are you going to draw? Please stop! Don't do it! Someone else will die if you do this! Another one will die! That's right. You can't possibly draw. You seem to think you've never killed anyone, but I'm afraid you're very sadly mistaken. You've managed to fool no one but yourself. You want to believe that because your hands aren't dirty. Because you didn't personally pull the trigger that you are innocent. When in actuality you've killed countless people. Including the gung-ho guns and your friend, Nicholas D. Wolfwood. I was forced to do that! I had no choice! Every time you make that face, it's strange. My left arm begins to shake uncontrollably because it happens to be the very arm that attached your arm to your body. <gasps> I will be waiting for you on that hill. If you wish to shoot me now, go ahead. Uh, huh? What happened? My head feels funny. so damn casual to toy with people's lives. You do the same thing. <gasps> you alone turned Jelion a guest at a rubble and put a huge hole in the fifth moon as well. You can deny it, but you're a monster. You and he are exactly the same breed. Who do you think you are? I'm the 11th gung-ho gun, Mid-Valley the Horn Freak, the man who plays the greatest music on the greatest stage of all. It's time to play. Join me on a number. Won't you bash the stampede? Bash the stampede? Oh, no. No way. It can't be. sensation of pain. Hmm. Sylvia is responding rather well today. Hey, you wouldn't know, but up close, the sound that's produced by even a famous top quality instrument can actually sound rather flat sometimes. Of course, there are varying degrees, but you are the only one able to bring out the greatest sound. A beautiful melody is greeted with applause. The audience shouts with appreciation, the acknowledgement of a splendid performance. Why didn't you finish me off? What are you waiting for? It's obvious you could have taken me out by now. The answer is simple. I'm under his orders. The choice is not mine. Nice. Can't defy him. Anyone working for knives is at his beck and call. You relinquish all rights and free thought. End of discussion. You're wrong. You're wrong about that! A superior being trying to show mercy? Help me! I... I, I can't stop myself! Oh no! What's happening to me? Legato again. <laughs> no! You'll regret it later, so just stop. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're absolutely right! 
This is no time to lose my nerve. Gotta keep going, right? Meryl, let's go! Are you all right? Here, drink some water. Talk about iron will. Your dedication is commendable. It's not over yet. The show must go on. Oh, stop it! You gotta be cool. Show's over. What are you saying? You've been trying for a ricochet shot? <laughs> Maybe, but it's not quite time for the curtain call yet. <laughs> I have to accept this as my fate. The destiny of the dying. Don't! Stop it! If you shoot now! Don't! No! We should have died a very long time ago, you and I. The instant we fell upon this sandy land without pain and without sorrow. Now the schedule has merely been set back. The end is near. It is time to embrace it. That is why I must. I must end it. End it now. This is the climax. Bash the staff. <laughs> So many sad things happen to you. Whether they are friend or enemy, the people you meet die. It's enough to sap one's tears. Shut up! You know this is not finished yet. Did you really expect the end to come so easily? <gasps> Don't you understand you're not human? It is time to realize exactly who you are. Oh, no. Lisa, it can't be! There is power in that light, power that you have always possessed. Even more, this represents what you are. you given up yet, Bash? It's really quite annoying. Bastard! You're out of options. Fight back or you'll die. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead? I would welcome this to be my time. After all, there's no reason for such an egocentric, incomplete life like mine to be allowed to continue anyway. Give me the gift of nothingness. Give me death. My master is waiting for you. He's looking forward to your visit. I was compelled to attach this arm to myself. I had to because you refused to be by his side. <coughs> Kill me. I, I can't. Go ahead. I can't! Come on, 
Time to choose. You have free will. Stop it! Don't make me shoot! No! <gasps> Your faith is hopelessly obstinate. To actually believe the prattlings of a woman who speaks in idealistic terms that are worthless. I guess that kind of thinking is reasonable for someone who's lived for more than a century. But that, that way of life is pathetic, even comical. Rem Saverum. A wasted existence who only spoke in aggravating logic. A worthless human being. Just like me, but unlike you. That's enough! Luck and persistence won't work forever. As we journey through our lives, we must always search for ways to make everyone happy. Don't force your way of life upon others. No one has the right to take the life of another. Don't tell me your dreams in a world like this. Keep your vision clear, you will always find the future. I understand. Master, Vash the Stampede will experience eternal pain and suffering. an improvement. I was worried about you. You must be hungry. I'll fix you some soup. Where are we? It's a small village, about 200 aisles from the town of Valar. There's a lot of very kind people living in this town. They let us stay at this house so we could care for your wounds. <sighs> Do you remember anything? You've been asleep since we arrived, for 10 days straight now. Here. It's my own recipe. Drink up. It's good for healing. I remember. I remember all of it. Oh, hey! I almost uh, forgot I need to be somewhere. I better hurry. I'll be back later, Kay. See ya! Make sure you drink all your soup, okay? Oh, Fash. your friend doing? Is he feeling any better? Oh, much better, thank you. He finally regained consciousness. In fact, if he keeps healing at this rate, he should be up and about real soon. That's wonderful, dear. I'm uh, happy to hear that. What? Oh, dear! Ah! Oh, sorry about that! Huh? <laughs> Miss 
Mr. Vash is awake? Gee, Meryl, that's wonderful news. Yeah. That's great. You must be excited. Uh, oh, yeah, that reminds me. Here you go. It's today's wages. I'm sorry about this, Millie. Making you do all the work by yourself, it's not fair. Don't worry about it. I always work the fields at home, and besides, by keeping busy, I don't have time to think about my problems. In fact, I don't think about anything at all. That's good. Incidentally, how is the well coming along anyway? Not too bad. According to the schedule, it looks like we should reach the underground water vein in about one week. Well, let's splurge on dinner tonight. What do you say? Wow, do you really mean it? Thanks. Come again. You know something, Meryl? This place kind of reminds me of my hometown. But there's nothing here. Your home is actually like that? That's right. It's just a quiet, plain, ordinary little village. But it was a great place to live because my whole family was there. Oh, yeah, family. Huh? What is it, Meryl? That man up there. He's out there. I know Knives is right out there. The one I've been searching for is so close. But... Then just answer me one thing. What in the hell do you intend to do once you've actually found Knives? Many years ago, he stole someone who was very important to me. So you want revenge? I don't know. I really don't know. I see. So that's how you live. That's how you choose to live. Wolf, what? What am I supposed to do when I see him? I actually killed a man with my own hand. What could I possibly say to him? I'm no different. Rem. Rem. I'm so sorry, Rem. I did a terrible thing. Now I'm a sinner too. Vash? What are you doing up here? Your wounds haven't had a chance to heal yet. Oh, Vash, take it easy. You shouldn't be out here. You should be in bed. I have to go. Go where? Where are you planning to go in that condition? To Rem. I have to go see Rem. What? What are you saying? You're not making sense. I have to go to where Rem is. I'm going. Come on, you have to snap out of it. You have to let us help. Let go of me. Now I can never go back. I really killed someone. I shot him dead. I did. I took his life. But, Bash, you didn't have a choice. I'm ending lives. There's always another choice. There had to be another way. I just didn't see it in time to do anything about it. Rem said so. There had to be a way. Rem, please tell me. Did I have a... Uh, wait, Vash, you can't! Vash! I don't know, Millie. Maybe following him wasn't such a good idea after all. Hmm? If we hadn't followed him, he wouldn't have had to make such a terrible choice and things might have turned out differently. And then... He wouldn't have gotten hurt. He wouldn't have had to suffer like this. I just can't stand it. You're wrong, Meryl. <gasps> The only reason you followed Vash is because you care about him, isn't that right? It could have happened anyway. What's wrong with taking a stand and acting with your heart? Well, like my big, big sister always said, never hold back in matters of the heart. Gee, Millie. <sighs> Maybe you should be the one that makes the decisions now. Huh? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Forget what I said. All right, Millie. We've got to keep going, so prepare to work your butt off tomorrow. <laughs> okay, Meryl!
else while we're gone. See you later. Have a good day. Since we've been taking care of him, Mr. Bash looks a little happier now, don't you think? Yeah, you're right, he does. Hey there, you're awfully late. You can only say that because you're here. Be glad. You guys probably aren't aware of this, but a whole lot of weird shit has been going on around here lately. Did something bad happen? Mass disappearances in 12 towns with no trace of them. LR's one big war zone and my family's missing. I had no idea. This is about the only peaceful town left. There you go. Hey, thanks a lot. First time I've seen him. Oh, yeah. Two girls just showed up in town with him. That was about ten days ago. Poor fellow was in horrible shape. Shot full of bullet holes. It's amazing he survived. Hmm. Where have I seen him? Come on, let's get out of here! Huh? Hmm? What's up with the shouting, Simon? Just get in the damn truck! What's the rush? Why are we leaving in such a hurry? That was Bash, the stampede! Huh? No question about it. That one guy sitting there was definitely the humanoid typhoon! First evening of pebble from somewhere out of nowhere drops upon the dreaming world. So, so on the second celestial evening, all the children of the pebble join hands and compose a wall. That's a nice song. Mm. You can... You can stay here as long as you like. That sounds good. <gasps> Might not be such a bad idea. Very much sleep last Meryl? night. Huh? Meryl? Uh, <gasps> I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill that bastard. Uh, <laughs> you really had us fooled. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't even bother playing dumb. Yeah, how dare you bring someone like Vash the Stampede here to endanger our home? Don't say that. We mean you no harm. Listen, miss. It's just we don't want to die. Uh, All we ask is that you leave here and don't look back. If you don't agree to do that, you might die. <laughs> no telling what'll happen to your friend. That's enough. What do you mean? What'll you do to him? No, you can't. This guy isn't him? Could be. I never imagined that guy to be such a wuss. I am. What the? Uh, I am. I am him. I'm Bash the Stampede. Huh? You're right about me. I'm. I'm 
Just nothing but a killer. Don't get to fight with me! I've heard enough of your crying! This is for everyone you've ever heard! Now smile! At least you could have the decency to die like a man! So come on, you shit! Smile! I said smile, damn it! Stop it, please! Don't kill him! You don't understand. He fought to protect everyone. I beg you, please don't kill him! He just came here to heal. He wasn't going to hurt anyone! Get out of my way! Uh, oh, Meryl! Could a normal human being do all those horrible things? He had to be the one! Who else could have been responsible? No, you're wrong! Then tell me why. <laughs> why the hell did Steven have to die such a horrible death, huh? Answer me! Answer me! I've... I've watched him for a long time, so I know. It's true that he can't avoid fighting, but this man knows how to live. To live like a decent human being. Shooting him won't help anyone. Don't feed me your garbage! We have the right to shoot this monster for everything he's done! We lost friends, families, neighbors, and even children! We should hate this bastard, and now he deserves to die! But you're wrong. No one ever has the right to take the life of another person. <clears throat> no one. No one ever has the right to take the life of another. No one. And everyone. Everyone deserves a future. Stay back! Did you hear me? I said stay back! Please. Please, it's time to stop the fighting now. Why? Why are you doing that? Please get back! It's up to us to end the cycle of hatred. If we don't work to end the sorrow this time, then the cycle of pain will just continue on. When we were all born, were any of us made to steal or cause others harm? Oh. you two have been so reckless. Uh, you're the last person I want criticism from. And besides, what we did was exactly what you've always done. And I'm sure, I know in my heart that he would have chosen to do the same. You've just given me the answer. Huh? That's it, it's gotta be. <laughs> hey, wait, uh, what are you doing? People have many different ways of thinking, even if a mistake is made. As long as a person realizes their mistake, it's possible to make it right again. And if you keep your vision clear, you will see the future. This is what one must realize. Right, Grandma? I hate to ask, but how long are you planning to do this? Oh, oh this is a great day!
This one's yours. feeling a lot better now. Don't worry, I'll be okay. See you later. Good luck. Thanks. And thanks for everything. Uh, Mr. Bash! <gasps> Over here! <laughs> but wait a minute, isn't that... I want you to take this with you. I know it would make Mr. Wolfwood happy. In fact, it would honor him. <sighs> Are you sure about this? I am. Wow, this is pretty heavy. Yeah, it is. Of course it's heavy. That's because it's full of mercy. Well, take care of yourselves. Bye. I couldn't. I couldn't say anything to him. Well, you can tell him everything when he gets back. You can go nuts on him. Understand. It was the last thing she tried to tell me. I will never go wrong again. Humans are survivors, so I will take care of him. I'll save knives.
Vash. Vash! Come on, Vash. Stand up already. Let's go! Uh. Hey! Don't be that way. It's just you and me here. We should at least try to act like brothers. <laughs> Murderer! Your whole life is a lie! You killed Rem! The crew! You killed them all! <laughs> yeah. Spectacular, huh? They all die. Except, of course, for the fraction who will survive because of Rem's incessant meddling. Where are you going? There's no use staying here. Come on. Or would you rather just lay there and cry your little eyes out? This is a terrible environment, just as I predicted it would be. It'll be impossible for any garbage to live here. It can still work out if they have the plants. Yeah, probably. But they'll survive by leeching off the blood of our siblings, gorging themselves like parasites. I can hear the screams of our brethren now, the anguished death cries of our friends. Is that why you kill people? That's right. I kill spiders to save the butterflies. It's simple logic. Don't forget, he killed them. That's right, he killed... Rem, help! No one ever has the right to take the life of another. just to stay here. But knives! It's hard to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Someone... <gasps> knives! All done. Knives! Hey, now where are you going? percent output. That's the best we can get. What is that? These are our new siblings, and this one will be yours. We will use these guns to dispose of mankind. I, I'm not gonna do that! Yes, you will! Never! Then why did you follow me and wait until I returned? Because you're hopeless on your own, isn't that right? Very well, watch me then. Don't! Uh, 
After 15 years, are you still so affected by that ridiculous nonsense? That fantasy world created for you by the woman who lived and died by contradiction? <laughs> I won't let you kill any more people! Sorry, dear brother. I think you misunderstood me. You're aiming at the wrong person. They're still alive. Alive! I promised Rim that we would make this land... Exactly. We will. You and I will make this land into our very own Eden. Just for us. It's wrong. This is wrong. It's wrong! My leg. My leg, it hurts. Why? Why? There's so much pain in my leg! Did you shoot me? Did you actually shoot me? I can't believe this! Did you really shoot me? No! Wait! Fast! joined you and Rem together is finally gone. Is that your excuse for killing? Haven't you learned anything over the past hundred years? The scars they carved into your body will never regenerate. Symbolic of your foolish waste of energy on this human garbage. Regardless of how you feel about them, they are living beings. They deserve to live! What's the use of growing up if the only thing that grows is your useless sentimentalism? You're still a good-for-nothing, pathetic quip! <laughs> three times by now. Did you kill them or not? Oh, damn, you are a noisy one, aren't you? What if I did, chicken shit? <laughs> Come on. I'm dead. Ready? Run! What? What is that? I don't understand! What the hell is that thing? It 
should never end this way. What other alternative do I have if we're going to survive? Our lives are too different, Bash. And he's not alone. I failed. I failed to save someone again. Just be more careful the next time. Come on, it's time to choose. You have free will. <laughs> the humans treat you well? Did you have fun, dear brother? I did, yeah. Best thing that ever happened to me. Wasted like that. Using them this way is the only thing that gives them any meaning at all. It's hopeless, isn't it? I've made my decision. You're not a human being. You're a plant. I know that. You're a superior being. I disagree. You're wrong about this, Bash. I won't make the same mistake twice.
What are you doing, Needle Noggin? It's right next to you. Use it, damn it! Survive. For guidance. 